brought out. Yeah, yeah. yeah Just like right. it says in with education, it comes from uh, education, which means to draw out. To draw out. So the yep. knowledge is already in the man, it just had to be drawn back out. That's it, that's it. That's right. So yeah. the spirit <laughs> makes yeah. men do certain things. It's all according to the spirit, man. It's all according to the spirit, man. It's the will of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. So that, that, oh, yeah, that, 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 that definition of, uh, virgin. well, virgin in the Greek is um, part, Parthenos. Okay. And, and, the, uh, and the definition of the word um, is a virgin. A marriageable maiden, yeah. you know, and you yeah. know, and that's that's a the woman definition. Of a young yeah. Age. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because the virgin and woman are maids. Yeah. The wo young women are known as virgins or young maids. That's right. right. So, she, so that also means she wasn't a very old woman. Yeah, that's she right. She wasn't like thirty years old. Oh, she wasn't old like Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So Elizabeth was well stricken in years. They're giving you a, 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 a an example. Elizabeth was well stricken in years, and was past the flout. Was past technically the age of being able to conceive technically. Right, right. But her cousin was young, young. and That's of right. marriageable age. Which That's why they put yep. the virgin in there. Yep. To yep. give you the contrast between their two situations. That's right. Yep. She was a very young woman and her cousin was very old. Oh, a young That's maiden. Right. That's young why they brought it in there. So keep going. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. Espoused means she's already, she's already promised and she's really a wife because when you technically look at even the word espouse, the word in Spanish, esposo, uh -huh. means wife. That's right. right. Esposa. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You know? Of the, yeah. of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Of the house of David. That's why right. Would they, why would it be when they first mentioned Joseph in the account of Luke that he's from the house of David? Exactly. Now, if you believe in immaculate conception, he could technically be whatever. He could even be a heathen. Uh -huh. Right. He right. could be a heathen right. and still, you get what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. He could be of the tribe of Benjamin, of Levi, of Asher. So they're establishing Yahweh Shah's lineage right there. Right? Yeah, they're right letting there. you know, hey, listen, this man is of the house of David. That's right. Meaning he comes out of him. Right, that's right. He's in that family line. Okay, keep going. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. So the angel appeared to her, Gabriel, and told her these things. Mm -hmm. And she's a young woman. You got to think about it. She's very young. Right. She might not know a lot of things or whatever. So this is just happening to her. So what is she going to say? That's right. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Mm -hmm. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with the Most High. That's right. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt. Mm -hmm. That's why brothers got to have, see, it says blessed are he, he yep. that readeth. Yeah, that's right. But you got to have reading comprehension. You can read and not have comprehension. Yeah, because that, that, if, that, if that angel in pregnant. He said thou shalt. That means future. Yeah, that means it didn't happen that time. It that's didn't right. happen. While the angel was there, he didn't lay with that woman, man. Exactly. He didn't. Something didn't happen to her tummy at the, t at the time. Right, right, right. You he know what I'm saying? He, he, said, he didn't pop. pop yeah, he didn't say, Shh. Yeah. Now you're pregnant. He said, thou shalt. Shalt meaning future. Future. That's why it established who her husband was first. Right, right. right. Keep going. <laughs> the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with the Most High. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh Shai. That's right. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. Yeah. And the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Oh, come on, oh, man. Come on. Where's the A, man? Look. That's an A. Wait, the throne of his father David. Of his father David. Come on, brother. Man, look here, bro. Paternal, man. Paternal. Paternal. Come on, brother. Man, look here, of bro. His... I'm right. Hey, I... <laughs> I always wanted to get the word. We're not even going to go there, man. Y'all know what a father is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Come on, bro. Go on. Read it again, bro. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. Come on. Woo! Amen. Amen. Clear, bro. Verse the angel eight. ain't lying, man. He the angel lying. is not lying. 
Hey, he ain't lying, man. Why would the angel say of your father, of his and, father, if it, David? If it was the angels, man, he would have said, and he will give you my throne. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. Or, and, and I, what was the verse of form? Joseph of the house of David. Joseph, Joseph of the house of David. And he will and give, he him, give him the throne of his father, David. Yep, that's it. That's it, huh? That is Hey, man. So, come on, man. Hey, let's keep on. Keep going, brother. Verse 33. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Mm -hmm. Then Mary, then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? It hadn't happened yet. It hadn't happened yet. So at this point, what she got when, it, when Gabriel came to her, she had not yet at that time been with the man. Exactly, exactly. This is all prophecy that he's telling her. Yep, yep. Angel Gabriel telling her, because she ain't yet got with at that time. Yeah. She hadn't dealt with nobody. Yeah. She but was, she was already promised. She was promised. She was already promised to Joseph. But she was a, yet a virgin, like the scripture said, at that time. At yeah. That time, she hadn't been touched. Yeah, she hadn't been touched yet. That's right. Keep going. What are you talking uh, about? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of the Most High. Yeah. That shall be born yeah. of thee shall be called the Son of the Most High. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, yeah. who was called barren. For with the Most High, nothing shall be impossible. Mm -hmm. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days and went unto the hill country with haste unto a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, uh -huh. the babe leaped in her womb. Whose baby? It's talking about John. John. Exactly. It's talking about John. But leaped. Mary wasn't pregnant yet. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Yeah. Talking about John still. Exactly. Now we could probably go to, the, uh, to, to Matthew. Because we wanted to establish the prophecy that was told to, uh, to them. Yeah. And now I'm going to go before they came together. You get what I'm saying? Oh, we could go into the genealogy too. Yeah, uh, of the son of the, you know, as I suppose. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see. Oh, okay, before they can, okay, we can start at uh, the genealogy. Oh, you want to hit the genealogy? Yeah, that was the part where it says of the son of uh, Joseph, of the, as I suppose. Oh, okay. That's at the end of uh, the genealogy. Uh, And ja uh, this is Matthew 1 and 16. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahweh Shai, who is called Mashiach. The husband of Mary. If, if, if Joseph didn't matter, they could just say, they, they just eliminated him. Right. He wouldn't need to be in the genealogy. And we all know how you become a husband to a wife. It's through the act of sex. Right? Exactly. It's through the act of sex. So uh, verse 17, so all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. Which all came from man coming from another man. All of them were the same. That's right. From right. Adam all the way till that time. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon mm -hmm. are 14 generations. That's right. And from the carrying away into Babylon until, until Yahweh Mashiach are 14 generations. Mm -hmm. So these are all generations. Come from the root word, gene. Yep. Hey man. Hey, gene you know. generate, man. Generate. Generate a gene coming from your, your father. Verse 18. 
Now the birth of Yahweh Shai Mashiach was on this wise. Okay. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together. Before they came together, which go, uh, go ahead and get that in the uh, in the blue letter. Blue files. Before before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. She was found with child already. Which what about uh John? Right, right. Elizabeth, hey, we know that she was that, filled with the uh, she was filled with the Holy Spirit from the womb. She was filled with a hey, Elizabeth with like you said, she was filled with the Holy Spirit from the womb. So what makes this different? Yeah. There's no difference between two on uh came together. Came before together. they came together. So yeah, man, I mean that there's no difference between John and uh Yahweh Shah's uh the way, they, the way they came into the world. Yeah, it's the same thing, man. Esau Esau with his trickery, man, he didn't he yeah. didn't twist it. And that that's thing, a man. major concept. That is the key vital force of modern day Christianity as taught by Esau. Right. Which goes back to Babylon. Which goes back to Babylon. That's, that's right. You know, it goes back to Babylon, Semiramis and Tammuz. That's right. Okay. She she basically said she got impregnated by a ray of light. Right. It had Tammuz. Mm -hmm. So she had no, he had no father. That's that. That's the reason why this is called the daughter of Babylon. Yeah. Because Esau is pushing the same religion that was pushed back in ancient Babylon. That's right. And we're talking right. about in the original Babylon after the flood. Yeah. You know, and so the, the same thing that was a Babylon custom. Because when you look into that whole thing, that, that fertility tree that goes back really to Semiramis and Tammuz, which is what you would be believing. And you'll be believing in a in a reincarnation of Semiramis and Tammuz by pushing the virgin bear. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's and right. And the sun coming out of it. And that's, that's a right. totally that's a totally different doctrine, man. Totally right. different uh Mashiach. Yeah. Totally different, man. So yeah, you'll be pushing that Tammuz piece, man. We don't want your brothers out there to be pushing the wrong uh the wrong but piece. You, did you find that piece? Yeah. The Tammuz, you got it. Oh no, you no, got no. It? Come, came together? Oh, yeah. they came together, bring yeah, that out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Came together. Strong's G4906. Definition to come together. To assemble. To assemble, man. To assemble. It doesn't say anything. The word for sex is different than the word for come together. Right. It's different. That's right. Right? That's it, right. it is different, man. When you go into the word for, you know, uh, different things in the, yeah. in the Greek, it's not going to say that. That's right. They assemble. What they do, they came together as was a custom. To come together for the marriage ceremony. Yeah, that's it. Right. And they and they had to step together before they could do that yeah. marriage ceremony. And they had to do the token of virginity because of, of wicked jakes. Right. That's right. Because wicked jakes would marry a woman. Yeah. And then they would say that they're not a, they were not a virgin. He wasn't a virgin. Right. That was the reason why it became a custom at that time to do it like that to have the marriage the bed chamber right. and everybody there for the wedding ceremony and everything like that. Yeah, but yeah. before, in the beginning of the time, it wasn't so. That's when, right. when Isaac got married. Right? Right, right, right. When Isaac and Rebecca got married, that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, that, that didn't happen. He just took it. This is before the law was yeah. actually re yeah. instituted yeah. for the hardness of men. Yeah, right, right. right. For, for janks that are pushing this gospel and, and don't really have to teach repentance to women. Right, right. right. Oh, look, how she, she's a whore anyway. Yeah, yeah. For those type of men. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. So, so this is a... Uh, so yeah, oh, that was it on? Yeah, yeah that was okay. it. Okay, just, uh... We'll edit it out. Yeah.